first thing I want to cover on tonight is taking what's rightfully yours. Amen. So there are some things that may have been stolen from us. Amen. And one of the things that Jehu had to do before he reached his purpose or fulfilled his purpose after he was anointed. So stick with me. We're, anoint we're receiving the anointing on tonight. Now there's going to be some things that we actively have to do. We can't just say, yes, God has anointed me. He's poured his oil over me. My, my liberty is here. I'm free. I'm free of the bondage. I'm free of the chains. And now I'm going to go out and just, you know, I'm going to go to the movies. I'm going to chill. You know, I'm, 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 I'm not really going to read my word. I'm not really going to try to go to church. I'm not really going to try to make an effort to seek God for myself. Amen. But now. We have to do some things in order to obtain what's rightfully ours. Amen. So Jehu, what he had to do was he had to kill the two kings that were in place. Amen. So for him, it was killing those two kings. And I want to ask you for you guys on tonight. What is it that you have to do to obtain the purpose that God has purposed you for. And I'm talking about the divine purpose, you guys. I'm not talking about, okay, you know, I'm an English major. That's my purpose. You know, like, I, I don't really know how, where it's going to take me. But I'm talking about what has God called you to do? As you said you're a film major. You're um, a film and media major. How are you going to use that to glorify God? Some of y'all are psychology majors. How are you going to use that to glorify God? And how do you go out and obtain that purpose? Amen. So tonight, I want, you guys to, I want you guys to continuously ask yourself, what does it look like to go out and take what's mine? Claim it back. Make room for God to add on to me. What does that look like? Amen. So that's the first thing that, that um, Jehu had to do. He had to kill those kings. The second thing that he had to do, he had to defeat the 70 sons of Ahab. Amen. He had to defeat 70 sons of Ahab. Somebody asked me, how you one man defeat 70 sons? Somebody asked me that. Uh -huh. how? Amen. So... Jehu writes a letter to the guardians. The, the kings had, the sons had guardians, amen. He writes a letter to the guardians and he tells them, send your best warrior out. Send them out and, 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 and anoint them. And we're going to go to war. I'm going to go to battle with that, with that one person. And if, if, if y'all lose, then I'm going to come in and everybody dies. Y'all got to go back and read this because it's, it's, it's real intense. Everybody dies. So the guardians, not the sons, they say to, they write a letter back to Jehu and they say, no, 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 no. You don't have to do that. You don't have to come in and kill everybody. We, we will kill the sons, the people that we're guarding. We're going to kill them for you. We're going to cut their head off and we're going to kill them and we're going to send their head to you. So don't even worry about it. You don't have to come after us. We don't want no problems. Amen. <laughs> so somebody say, watch who's guarding you. Watch who's guarding Amen. You. Because in this season, you're going to have people that are going, they're going to get real, real close to you. They're going to get real, real buddy, buddy with you because they see your, your goals. They see your ambition. They see you about your business and you, you about your father's business and you taking seeds of what God had for you. And you going out and you winning, you winning, you winning. Please, somebody tell me if my hat fell off. Um, you, you going out and you winning and they're going to try to get real buddy, buddy with you. Amen. But I need y'all to watch who's guarding you. Because you're going to have the bad, the ones that say, hey, I don't want no problems. I ain't finna go to bat for her. I don't really know him like that. Oh, we've known each other since the second grade, but we're not really that cool, though. So, so if you need me to do anything, like I'll, I'll, I'll send his head to you on a silver platter. But then I want you to look at your, at your right side, your right shoulder. Look at your right shoulder. Because you're going to have those friends that are also guarding you. And they're watching your back. 
and they got you. They covering you in prayer. They're pushing you forward. They're rebuking you when, 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 when you know you don't have no business dating that guy and your friends see it and they like, um, you know what? That ain't your type. You know, and then you, but you think that they hating on you. You like, oh, he, she, she just mad because she's single. You know, no, that's your friend. She is guarding you. He is guarding you because that person, that individual, they see what you're about to walk into and they're trying to keep you from that. Amen. So watch both sides. Watch for the ones that's going to give, give you up on a silver platter. And then watch for those that's really going to have your back because we can't do it by ourselves. Amen. We cannot do this thing by ourselves. It's, it sound cool to take seeds and take back everything that God have for us. But who really want to do it? 